I think we can all agree that there are some interesting vehicles out on the road. This is Reacher, and today we found 20 crazy vehicles you just won't see every day. Number 20. California daredevil Ron Patrick has installed a 1500 jet engine into the back of his new VW Beetle, providing it with extreme acceleration. He fitted the massive engine into the back of the small hatchback at a cost of $200,000. With the new infusion of power, the car is able to exceed the 140 mile per hour maximum speed measured by the car's speedometer. Patrick says he often enjoys taking his car out for a spin at night where it's frequently pulled over by curious police officers. Number 19. By strapping a couple of two-stroke Parajet motors and propellers to a metal frame, Colin Furs built his do-it-yourself hover bike with no steering, seat, or brakes. The initial design of the aircraft has two motors and propellers mounted to the bottom of the frame and turning in the same direction. But after switching to an S-shaped frame, each propeller was then able to rotate in the opposite direction. This counter-rotation of the propellers seemed to cut down on the gyroscopic spin. Number 18. This street legal Viper was built by mechanic Dean Shore. It was made from a Jeep with a small block Chevy V8 engine, which is what we expect was powering the original spaceships. Number 17. This decapod concept is unique to the auto world. Inspired by the 1930 Henderson Streamliner, the decapod is a rideable, one-of-a-kind work of art. Each one is street legal as well as signed and numbered by the artist. The hand-formed aluminum body is mounted on a new Vespa Piaggio automatic step-through scooter for a top speed of 150 miles per hour with a body shell that weighs 30 pounds. Number 16. For the past few years, 62-year-old Zhang Jun Lin has been tinkering away at an old warehouse building a submarine with his friends. It seats 20 people and is supposed to be able to reach speeds of 15 nautical miles per hour and hit depths of around 50 meters. Made of stainless steel, the whole thing weighs about 25 tons. Number 15. As a child growing up in Muncie, Indiana, Curtis Hutchinson said that he never had a red radio flyer wagon to pull around the neighborhood and take his friends for a spin. Now, after 65 years later, he and his wife and friends can just sit in one and drive it around town. With a 350 small block Chevy engine and a turbo transmission, the wagon can hit speeds of up to 90 miles per hour. Number 14. A gentleman from China spent two months making this wacky creation using metal and an old engine. The result doesn't quite have the grace and beauty of a real horse, however it's quite an impressive accomplishment from an engineering standpoint. He was inspired by the story of a Chinese ruler who allegedly created the first ever mechanical horse. Number 13. To build this high-riding snowplow, Colorado welder Rex Bailey mounted tires from an agricultural sprayer onto an old Dodge 3500 diesel pickup truck. Rex used a commercial plasma cutter to create spokes, axle mounts, and the truck's rear end. The wheels are 76 inches high, which allows the truck to drive through three feet of snow and most off-road terrain. It even has a tilt gauge to let the driver know if he's about to tip over. Number 12. Builder Lars Eric Lindbergh's hot rod consists of a fiberglass Model T replica mounted on a frame above a Bonneville Duet station wagon powered by a Chevy V8 engine. Underneath, he installed the tracks and suspension from an Arctic Cat snowmobile, allowing the vehicle to cruise across the frozen lakes of Sweden at 100 miles per hour. It took about 500 hours to build at a cost of $15,000. Number 11. When Rick Sullivan received a call to transport an overturned Ford Ranger to his shop, he wasn't looking for his next project. 
But when he saw the pickup truck on its roof with four wheels sticking up in the air, he got an idea. At first glance, it looks like a red and white Ford pickup truck on its roof, but it's really a 1991 Ford Ranger with a 1995 F-150 body placed over the top upside down, complete with spinning tires. Number 10. Art Haynes, a designer from Maine, came up with the idea of building his own solar car. When he pitched the idea to his local civics group of having high school students help him build the car, it was well received. He and eight students discussed the project and they came up with a list of specifications for the car. Haynes then designed the solar car's prototype on his computer and the Solar Neighborhood's electric car was born. Number 9. Dutchman Arthur Van Poppel has created his own drivable Mini F-35 and the plane is awesome. Sure, it's a scaled down version and it doesn't come with a mini helmet, but you can actually drive the thing like a car. And you can't help but admire the amazing level of detail. Number 8. Bob Dollum is a man possessed by a lot of things, but mainly the drive to build a working replica of Batman's current generation Batmobile, the Tumbler. This recreation has it all, the afterburner, the huge honking double barrel wheels, and the stealthy look on all the edges. Dollum threw it all together from nothing more than available photos in the movies themselves. He custom welded it in his own garage by himself, and if you're assuming he has an impressive bat suit to go with it, you're probably right. Number 7. This is the ultimate hipster vehicle. Retro and tacky, yet awesome. Who's worried about a zombie apocalypse? That's what you'll be saying if you own this totally awesome bugged out tank. Number 6. The 1973 Volkswagen Beetle with half tracks and missile launchers that kept America safe for years is now for sale. The car, which started life as a stock CC Type 1 Beetle, was converted in some dramatic ways. Most obvious are the rubber tracks replacing the rear wheels, but it also appears the front has been protected with the strongest armor known to man, another old VW hood. Number 5. When I say homemade, I'm not telling you that for a fact because we couldn't find out anything about this tractor, tricycle, amphibious vehicle, nor do we know who made it and what kind of motor it's packing. Regardless of that, even from the very first moment when we came across it, we felt compelled to show it to you because we really don't get to see such great all-terrain vehicles. This can literally run through bushes, mud, water, over rocks, you name it. Number 4. When it comes to the embodiment of passion and devotion one has for cars, it doesn't get any better than this. This incredible replica of the famous American muscle car also comes with its own Briggs & Stratton engine. This little Superbird really has it all, and after a lot of hard work and impeccable precision and details, the designer came up with the perfect replica of the real thing. He really did a marvelous job, and we applaud him for his creation. Number 3. A lover of all things vehicular has transformed a once sunken boat into a road legal drivable car. Mark Ray designed and built his dream motorboat after his wife Robin bet him that he couldn't do it. He spent a total of $8,000 merging a GMC Jimmy with a recovered Sea Rainbow Rider. After stripping the boat of its motor, outdrive, interior, and floor, he combined it with a car that has been taken apart and left with only its chassis, seat, and motor. Number 2. The Maverick LS design has been developed as an easy-to-operate air and land craft. It's intuitive and safe to fly or drive by people in frontier areas of the world, enabling them to use this unique vehicle in humanitarian applications and healthcare services, as well as providing the opportunity to interact with fellow citizens.
Number 1. What if there was a do-it-yourself vehicle platform that was not only affordable, but also street legal, open source, and versatile with the option for an electric drivetrain or an integrated hybrid engine? The Tabby is the original platform, and it isn't necessarily designed to be street legal, though it could be made so. The blueprints and plans can be downloaded, improved upon, and shared with others. This could be a great jumping off point for creating your own custom vehicle or even as an educational tool. Hey guys, this is Cassie. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell us in the comments below what you found to be the most interesting and why. Also, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit the bell notification next to the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.